Hello, I'm Luke Neller and welcome to the first episode of Best View Plays of the Week for 2021. Happy New Year! In this episode we have a Chinese duel between twisty mountain passes. Roll out! Let's kick this episode off with some low tier action. Debissimo shows us how to side scrape in the ever mighty KV-1, before having to hurry back to base. That's a creative way of taking cover, but it works. Securing the 11th skill and the game with a juicy, high explosive shot. GG. Onwards to inspect the Never Bomb in the not so mighty A46. Attempting to carry a desperate game on Westfield. Alone against five tanks, our hero picks them off one by one. Using their view range to win the uh -huh. Win the game, the Fadens, and an invader. Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations, Inspector Neverbomb. Oh, don't worry. I am proud of you, my little tanker. And for our third mention, no hit Francesca Farago demonstrates why having two guns is better than one. As is the common theme on the show, the green base is once again in peril, and our hero has to step up their game bravely fighting off a ferocious red assault as the last tank on the team. Dispatching the Fajetto just before the flanking force arrives. To win the game with an amazing 10,000 damage. Well done. So congratulations to all our mentions with their best few plays of the week start. <laughs> On the road towards the glacier, a Chinese medium takes point. La Papa drives their 121B straight into the action in the mountain valley. Especially after realizing this object 257 is the only opponent guard in the northern flank. The red base now lies open, and La Papa can even see the flag. But a look at the minimap suggests trouble brewing. The south is gone, the middle about to be flanked. The only option is to head back and deal with the intruders. A VKB in good repair would be a tough fight. A papa faints a retreat. Only to outflank the lumbering beast. What a move. However, this lucky bounce is a reminder that there's a lot more where that came from. All the 50B gets for their greed for a top gun is a charred wreck. A fate shared with the standard B, and a papa is not giving up without a fight. 
Unbelievable. The Progetto critically lost focus for a second. Just what we needed. It's the 430 that's gonna try their luck next. But if there's no better, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Can this luck hold any longer? The final two TDs are not playing around and are zeroed in on our hero. Yes, the wreck provides just enough cover on the right to take up the first one. A bounce. The Papa pounces on the TD, engine roaring down the hill. Skid, skid. The helpless E4 can only watch as the 121 dances around it. It's GG. Papa wins. What an expertly played game by La Papa. Turning back when needed, but more importantly, dispatching eight enemy tanks completely alone. A triple amazing defender performance with Kalabanov's 7,826 damage, 10 kills, and 1,477 base experience. Now crowned with our best replay of the week nomination. Congratulations! And sharing the same twisty roads, only different. A Type 64 springs into action. Shotgun ensures no pesky scout gets through the friendly lines. Or careless TDs escapes unscarred. But with a scoreline such as 7 12 in only 4 minutes, special tactics are needed. Strike. Masterful. Three tanks falling in quick succession. But there is no time to waste. The base is just about to fall. Three... Two, one, a decap. The stunned P-43 falls to the way of the shotgun, up close and personal. That only leaves three artillery. With only 11 shells left and barely any HP on an already flimsy tank, the margin for error is none. The camping prevention team is on the move, but Shotgun can't risk a near miss. An ambush is set up instead. Come on, little artillery, where are your friends? Aw, oh, none to be found. There. But with the surprise ruined, it's better to disengage and swoop in from a different angle. Blast, he got away. And a miss. And another. Premature reaction and an itchy trigger finger means this high explosive shell becomes the final nail in the coffin. GG. We just witnessed a brilliant game by Shotgun. Patient when able, decisive when needed, a mark of a great player. Securing the win with the final shell nets them the elusive Faden's medal along with 4,175 damage, 8 kills and impressive 1,789 base experience. Congratulations, Shotgun. That's it for this episode, starting the new year with a bang. Let's remember that we define our lives, so let us make 2021 awesome, regardless of what's going on, together.
I pledge to you that I'll be more active in social media and in game this year. So let's go out there and create some best you plays of the week. Oh, and let's not forget last episode's best you play of the week, as voted by you was God Tank 2 with the slimmest of margins. Congratulations! I'm Luke Nella. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fireworks now!